Diamonds in my pinky ring, diamonds in my necklace, diamonds, diamonds in my bracelet. I seen them check my wreck, my wrist, gold frame, juicy shade, custom made, pieces swing, both I call the diamonds, listen. Got the 26 inch forges back for the box shaving. We got some fresh tires on them, some Lexanis. Now I'm finna start cleaning them up and painting them. I haven't decided how I was gonna paint them. The owner just wanted me to paint the lips black, but I don't think I'm gonna paint the lips because I wanna leave some chrome on them because the car gonna be black and chrome. So if I paint the lips black, won't be no chrome on the wheels, just be the brush. So I think we gonna leave the lips chrome because the curb rash ain't too bad. This is the worst of it right here. But I done seen worse. So we gonna take them apart. I was thinking about, I know I'm gonna paint the back, the back barrel. I'm gonna paint the back barrel black. And I haven't decided how it's gonna do the face of the or wheel. I might paint this black, that black, and leave all this here brush. But once I take them apart and clean them up, I'll be done came up with something then. See, I got some carpet here. I'm just going to lay them face down. Get me a half inch wrench. Start breaking the bolts with the nuts loose. Then we'll go clean them up. Tell you this, it's real time consuming. Doing it one at a time. But this is how you do it. Like I said, I got my half inch. Get it from the back side. Once you break it, you might gotta hold the front with your hand, but you ain't gotta use no wrench to hold it. Just hold it with your hand, it'll come on off. Then it'll come on off. Let me show you. It don't really take much to break it. Not for real. That one, that was kind of rough though. So once you break it, you're going to have to hold the front side with your hand. Except, uh, let me show you the ones you don't got to hold. See, except these here, the face hold these but the ones in the middle of the face you have to hold your hand but some wheels might be different than others but this side easy is finally got the face off now I can get ready to clean this one up but I'm gonna wait till I get the rest of the wheels three more to go that face heavy that's where all the weight at see this is what I was talking about some of them don't got where the stud is attached to the face where you don't got to hold the back side of that We'll take care of these other three, then we'll get ready to clean them up. Just the last face. Set it here. These are all my Nuts and bolts. Put them in this bag. I don't know where they at. Keep up with them. 
the front one's a lot nastier than the back ones because I guess the brake uh, dust. It looked like they done repaired this wheel before. Right here, like it was bent. They knocked it back in place. It's holding air though. Here's yeah, the faces. I tried to mark them so I know where they go, which it probably don't matter, but I like to keep everything in order. Here's the other one. Now I guess we'll go outside. Start cleaning them up. Then we'll really see what we're working with. But I think we're gonna be all right. When I was cleaning the back of this face here, it was a lot of grit and grind up in here. I thought it was just oil and stuff built up, but it's actually where the clear had uh, started chipping and peeled up and the dirt and oil got behind it. And so what I'm doing now, I couldn't get it off with the rag. I just took a maroon scotch bright, which I'm gonna paint it anyway, so it don't matter. And I'm just cleaning it up with the maroon scotch bright. Then I'm gonna go back with a uh, some 320 wet, and I feather is the the peel. Yeah, I'm gonna feather edge that peel so you won't have no lip. Be smooth, smooth surface. Everything cleaned up, ready to be sanded. Let me show you the wheel with a face. What I was talking about, how it was chipping. I tried to feather edge it. Probably have to sand a little bit more. But I done sanded the back of this face here. Cause I had wet sand when I was trying to feather edge. I just did the whole back of it. But I'm gonna have to do the rest of them. I also did these two faces over here. See them now? I already been sanded. This one here, have it. You probably can see the gloss on it. I don't know if the camera's showing it. But this all I used was this maroon scotch bright. Here's the barrel. I'm gonna have to do it the same way. Scuff the uh, barrel up with the maroon scotch bright. Some of them have to, uh, like over here. See, I seen on one of them has some paper on it. Yeah, right here. I'm gonna take some wax and grease remover and remove this. Also here. If that don't get it up, I'll take some reducer or some lacquer thinner. Should come up. I think that's about it. Just finish sanding. Once the surface turn dull, you're good to go. It's kind of hard to tell on this chrome plated area here. On this area here where all these beans at, I'm gonna put some two part glaze and put it here. Just somewhere get it smooth. We're gonna be using this u paw dolphin glaze. I'm just gonna wipe it on with my finger. It's not gonna take much. Uh, if I can find the hardener. Let me find the hardener, then I'll cut you back on. All right, we got it. It's not gonna take much, like I said. I'm gonna put that in there.
which you're not gonna really be able to see the back of the barrel. But since we already got the wheels off, might as well fix it before we paint it. Think that should be good. Guess we'll wipe some on. And once this dry, I'll take some 320 wet and feather it on out. I got some 180, I'll finish the 80 grit. 180. I'm just gonna dip it in my water here. I'm gonna knock it down with 180, then I'm gonna go back with 320 to get them 180 scratches out. There's just 180 here, knock it down a lot faster than that 320. You'll be all day trying to knock this glaze and put it down with 320. But you don't wanna paint over 180 scratches because they'll still be, you'll still be able to see them through the base coat. Once I get it down smooth, then I'll go back over it. I'll just give me some 320 and hit it like this here. Then I'll be good to go. I'm gonna spray some self-etching primer on my glaze and putty to seal it. Let that dry, then I wet saying that should be good to go after that. Everything sanded, including the barrels, front and back of the faces. Now it's time to do the masking, and the design I'm gonna go with. This here gonna stay brush, but I had went on and sanded it because I'm gonna shoot some clear on top of it once I clear the rest of it. But I'm gonna shoot the black first, then I unmask this and shoot the clear on all of it. But I got some fine line tape and some regular tape. I'll probably put some paper here to keep from using that much tape, but the rest of it gonna be tape. And this fine line, that's just to make this contour. Down, three to go. 
I'm just trying to make sure I have my tape laying down because that overspray find its way up under it if it ain't. Once I get through with the faces, I do the uh, lips of the wheel and the tires. Just about done with all the masking. You can see right here where I had to tear the tape in pieces just to make that contour. Only thing I got left is connecting the masking paper to the tape. Right here, this is where I did the repair to the barrel. I had went back and wet sanded it. Finally finished all the masking. Now it's time to wipe it down with wax and grease remover. I got the faces hung up. I'm going to shoot a dark gray sealer on everything first before I spray the base coat. After I wipe it down with this wax and grease remover. One coat of the sealer. See, I had taped up the threads back here because I didn't want to get no paint on them. Then I had problems trying to screw the uh, nuts down. That black should cover real good now, since there's still on now. Let's go ahead and mix that black up.
three coats of the jet black I think it went down smooth before I put the clear on I gotta unmask this area here where the brush at cause I'm gonna clear that as well as you can recall I had scuffed it up when I scuffed up the rest of it so let me put the camera down so I can unmask this here show you the back side Unmask the brush air. Now we'll get ready to clear everything. Three coats of clear. We'll let this dry. Then we'll install the faces back on. And we'll see what it look like. After I had sprayed the wheels upright, I came back the next morning and did a wet sand with 800 grit just to level everything off. Then I laid the wheels flat because the clear, it levels out a lot better when it's flat and you can get it a lot smoother and a lot shinier with lesser orange peel. I 
I got the birds outside. They drying up. I just got through spraying this hill, so I'm gonna let this sit overnight. I probably let it sit at least two days before I start putting the uh, screws and bolts back in. Think it turned out good. I'll cut you back on whenever I get ready to start putting everything back together. It's been three days since I painted everything. Actually four since I painted the barrels. So now we're gonna start putting everything back together. We got the center cap. We're gonna put the Forgiato sign back on there. We're just gonna use some emblem glue to do that. It goes here. And then we're gonna put the face back on the lip and the barrel. And it, the nuts, they torque down to around 22 pounds so we're gonna get the torque wrench out and once we tighten them up we're gonna torque them down so let's get started Trying to finish with all the wheels. It was more work than I expected. I expected I was gonna get done a lot quicker than what I did for us from start to finish. What took the time is taking all these faces off. But I think it was worth it the way it came out. See, I got the Porsche sign back there. I think it's gonna look good for us once once I put them on the car. That back barrel black. Then the windows. Black brush and chrome. I think that's a good look. Show you the back side of that. Y'all stay tuned for the test fit. I think I'm gonna squat it, so I'm gonna have to do some modifications for us getting it to squat. But I have videos on that as well. Y'all get in the comment section, tell me what y'all think. Is it a win or a loss?